Welcome back to this new video of TaxPress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started in a very easy way. If you wanted, of course, to connect your uh, domain to your hosting. So let's show you the simple stepped points of the domain so your website can be seen in the worst. So first of all, what is a domain hosting connection? Think of your domain name as your website address and your hosting as a place where your website files live left. So make sure your people can find your website you needed to connect to. This process, uh, process involves updating your domain DNS, sending to the point into the hosting server. So the first thing to do is to have an actual Namecheap account. Here in the Namecheap, I'm going to focus into my account and go directly into my dashboard. Then I'm going to just sign in in a very easy way. I'm going to add my credentials. And once I'm in here, you can locate into your dashboard all your different active accounts. You can focus directly into your domain list. To add a domain list, you can focus into the left section that says Domain List. So find a domain you want to connect to your hosting and click into the option that says Manage the button next to it. In this case, for example, let's try it out with the system on that law online. Get into Manage. Then what I'm going to focus on is into focusing into the Namecheap Hosting DNS. On the Domain Details page, you can scroll down into the Name Servers. Um, if you don't find those, you can focus directly into the section that says Advanced DNS. Choose the name Cheap Hosting DNS from this menu. So the Domain Details page, you can focus into the Name Servers section. Usually it should be appearing into the left section or it might be appearing as um, inside Hosting List, Name Servers. Inside Name Servers, I'm going to scroll down here and choose this drop down that says name chipped web hosting to DNS. Then this option is specifically for connecting your domain to the name chip shared hosting. Then I'm going to go for the option that says save. After the selecting name chip hosting DNS, you want to make sure to click the check mark or save button to apply your changes just as I did before. Now it says the DNS server update might be taking up to 48 hours to take effect. Take that in mind. Now, just wait for the DNS propagation. This is crucial because it can take up to 48 hours. This means your website might not be immediately visible. So just be patient. In most cases, it takes much less time, but allow for the full 48 hours. Now, some alternative custom DNS if you're using an external hosting. If you're using an external hosting, let's say I'm going to open it up. I'm going to look out for Hostinger. And into Hostinger, um, I might be using this account. And basically, what I need to do is just to sign in and look out directly into the option that says Manage DNS. So I can connect my domain into my other Hostinger. To adding your hosting into another uh, domain, another hosting supplier, what I need to do, of course, is to get started and check out my DNS name service into the custom DNS fields. To do this, I'm going to focus into the option that says Domain List. Inside Domains, make sure that you have just unselect the name servers and choose the option that says Namecheap Basic DNS or choose Custom DNS. Then what I need to do is to just focus into Advanced DNS. And here, as you can see, we do have Transfer DNS back into uh, Free Domain Redirect. So for this process, what I need to do, of course, is to go back into my domains. I'm going to select one domain that I can use for changing the hosting DNS servers. Inside the advanced DNS, we can add new records. Usually, depending on the hosting you're currently using, usually it's going to be asking you to enter in a specific DNS servers. So for this, assuming for example that we are using hosting, it's going to be asking you to enter in a specific DNS. So let's say for example, hostinger connect uh, an external domain and you can see that we have this specific parameters for example here this would be asking you to enter this request for example add points to ttl and other a record so this information should be added directly into the name chip for example adding an a record the host should be at the value should be this value and the ttl 14400 or you can just go for one minute 
and go for the option that says to save the changes. Once again, this might be taking a few minutes to be applied, but just be patient and make sure that you have added the right information from the hosting supplier you chose into your domain you wanted to connect it with. Once you have finished with this process, just uh, type your domain name into the web browser. If everything is set up correctly, your website should now be visible. If not, just wait a few minutes, even hours, just to make sure that you have added now the correct uh, website directly into the um, store. So there you have it, guys. Really easy tutorial. That's all there is to do it. So connecting your name chief domain to hosting is a straightforward process. Remember to be patient while the DNS changes propagate. If you find this guy helpful, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any question about connecting your domain, you can let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully we can all see you next time.